Happy and Merry Christmas, everybody. My name is Devin Ray Hillary, born and raised as a Jamaican descendant in the Bronx of New York City, New York, USA, and I was diagnosed with autism and mild intellectual disability at the age of two and a half. Every year, along with the start of the Christmas holiday season in December, December 3rd is International Day of Persons with Disabilities, also known as International Disability Day, 21 days before Christmas Eve and 22 days before Christmas Day. International Day of Persons with Disabilities is an international observance promoted by the United Nations since 1992. It has been seen with varying degrees of success around the planet. The observance of the day aims to promote an understanding of disability issues and mobilize support for the dignity, rights, and well-being of persons with disabilities. It also looks to increase awareness of gains to be derived from the integration of persons with disabilities in every aspect of political, social, economic, and cultural life. It was originally called International Day of Disabled Persons until 2007. Each year, the day focuses on a different issue. Furthermore, International Day of Persons with Disabilities is about non-discrimination between mental and physical disabilities, and the spirit of the day is to ensure that all people in the world have equal opportunities for work, play, health, and success. People with disabilities can be very often are contributing and valued members of society. And today, it is all about appreciating them. Being in purple helps represent the International Day of Persons with Disabilities. Purple has become associated with the disability movement. Purple Light Up is a way to not only show a commitment to disability inclusion and appreciation of the economic contribution of disabled employees, but is a way to celebrate and connect with disabled people worldwide. Additionally, according to the British Broadcasting Company, also known as the BBC, most people believe it is rooted and the protest movement against benefit cuts. In 2010, the disabled run Broken of Britain blog, one of many protest blogs started at the time, launched settling on purple for its colors. In 1976, the United Nations General Assembly proclaimed 1981 as the International Year of Disabled Persons. It called for a plan of action at the national, regional, and international levels with an emphasis on the equalization of opportunities, rehabilitation, and prevention of disabilities. Additionally, the theme of the International Year of Disabled Persons was full participation and equality, defined as the right of persons with disabilities to take part fully in the life and development of fair societies, enjoy living conditions equal to those of other citizens, and have an equal share in improved conditions resulting from socioeconomic development. Disabilities or any condition of the body or mind impairment 
that makes it more difficult for people with conditions to do certain activities, activity limitations, and interact with the world around us, participation restrictions. All disabilities are either developmental or intellectual, visible or invisible. Examples of disabilities include intellectual disability, autism spectrum disorder or ASD, deafness or hard of hearing, mental health conditions, vision impairment, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or ADHD, medical disabilities, mobility disabilities, psychiatric disabilities, etc. People with disabilities are often decreased in social status, moved involuntarily and separated from others, excluded from common place socializing, denied personal agency over their lives, and exposed to abuse and neglect. Luckily, all people with disabilities, especially me, must be supported and protected by disability justice. Disability justice is a social justice movement that focuses on examining disability and discrimination as they relate to other forms of oppression and identity, such as race, class, and gender. It was developed in 2005 by the Disability Justice Collective, a group including Patty Byrne, Mia Mingus, Stacy Milburn, and Leroy F. Moore Jr. and Eli Clear in Disability Justice. Disability is not considered to be defined in white terms, male terms, or straight terms. The movement also believes that disability discrimination makes other forms of prejudice possible and that systems of oppression are intertwined. The disability justice framework is being applied to an intersectional re-examination of a wide range of disability, human rights, and justice movements. Still more, us people with disabilities have rights in the world to help make our lives less negative and more positive and enjoyable. All disability services and agencies need to have respect and full commitment to upholding the rights of me and all people with disabilities, especially those without disabilities. Additionally, all services and agencies must be committed to ensuring their rights and responsibilities and be supported to exercise them. They have rights to access support, to promote, uphold and respect their legal and human rights, respect their cultural diversity, values and beliefs, respect and protect their dignity and rights to privacy are free from violence, abuse, neglect, exploitation, or discrimination, and allow them to exercise informed choice and control. This is a presentation to help show awareness of what International Day for Persons with Disabilities is about. International Day for Persons with Disabilities is vital to celebrate because the day is about promoting the rights and well-being of persons with disabilities at every level of society and development and raising awareness of the situations of persons with disabilities in all aspects of political, social, economic, and cultural life. We celebrate this day to appreciate the contributions which people with disabilities make to our societies and express solidarity with them in their struggle to overcome the barriers and challenges and common negative assumptions which we still face due to stigmatization and exclusion. May the Lord have mercy on all people, especially me, living and coping with disabilities.